Hey, what is going on everybody, and welcome to Fantasia, home of the Melodious. My name's Azalea, and today, gonna be bringing you guys another Fire Emblem Heroes video. And today, we're gonna be going and not just summoning for free, oh no, I know we've been doing that for the past a few, several, a lot of months, many months, uh, but today we're actually gonna be going in and we're diving into some summoning. Now, there's only three banners up right now, we're not gonna worry about Suter and uh, Yoga or whatever the heck her name is, but we are going to go and try to get Leorn and Helbindi. Yeah, two hero focus banners are amazing for uh, your chances of getting the focus units, it just drastically increases them. So the average of getting a 5 star on one of these banners is between anywhere from 50 to 60 orbs, which is pretty good, seeing as I have quite a few uh, orbs saved up here. We're also going to use our free summon on our heroes with ward skills, so that's going to be a thing. So I guess we'll start off with this. We'll get a free summon here, and then we'll hopefully be able to hop over here and grab both of these. Now I need red dual flyers for uh, one of my units, and then I, I definitely do need Hellbindi for the green dual infantry, because female Robin is about to get merged up with those hero grails. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into this. Uh, Heroes of Ward skills, I don't really know which one I want. All of them are pretty good. Um, I guess Siger's the lowest priority. Brave Ike would be kind of good because Brave Ike has, uh, of course, Steady Breath. So let's go ahead and see what we have in store for us here. Uh, well, we got a green, so we're just gonna go with that and just see what we get, so. There's one colorless, I'm not gonna roll on that though. We're only taking the free summon and we're, we're gonna leave. So we see the puff of smoke, what are we gonna get from here? And, uh, you know what, Gunter's actually not that bad, I was actually in pretty dire need of, uh, need of Gunter's because of Home Calvary. Uh, I don't have enough of those, so, okay, that's actually pretty good, I'm not, I'm not disappointed at all. Okay, so now we're gonna go over here, and, yeah, so here's the voting gauntlet banner. Hellbindi, green dual infantry, and Leorn with red dual flyers. So let's go ahead and jump to this. There's only six hours left. I summoned at the end of this banner. I, I thought that this was going to last until tomorrow, but apparently it doesn't. So unfortunately, I can't wait to see the Fade channel to see, uh, you know, what changes could possibly come into Arena and such, but oh well, it's all right. We're just going to go ahead and dive into this. So we're going to go with the red one first, and we'll summon on both the greens over there. All of my, uh, all of the friends and people in Discord have, uh, have had pretty good success with this banner, so that's pretty good. Hey, we got a Sheeta, that, that's not bad. Um, I might actually check the IVs on this one. Uh, I'm looking for, because mine's a plus attack minus defense one, so I am really looking for a plus attack minus HP, so we'll see here. Oh, that's minus HP. Oh, that's not... Oh, that's plus res minus HP. Oh, man. All right, well, anyway, then that got my hopes up. All right, we're going to go ahead and redeem our first four actual orbs. We're going to go ahead and summon on these two green stones. And for those of you wondering, those of you who are kind of new to the channel, um, I'm saving these orbs for just waiting for female Grima to share with actual good units on the colorless pool on the legendary banner, which has not happened yet, so <clears throat> it's quite unfortunate. All right, well, we ended up getting a Hawkeye, so we're going to go ahead and see what's in the other one. So I'm really uh, looking forward to Female Robin's Weapon Refinery. That, that is going to be great. Oh, and there we go. Speaking of which, Hellbindi in our first summon, in our first summoning circle. That's awesome. Eight orbs for Hellbindi. Guess you could say hell yeah, right? Okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna check his IVs anyway. Um, even though I am going to fodder him, rest in peace, Hellbindi. It doesn't really matter how good you are. Uh, but we're gonna see. Well, this. Oh Jesus! Oh no! Don't do this to me. <laughs> Intelligent systems. This is a plus attack minus speed Hellbindi, uh, which is really good. Which is actually really good. The plus attack Hellbindi. I uh, oh, yikes! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna feel bad if I fought her off this one. Would you like to leave a review? Maybe later. Let's get Leorn. Okay, eight orbs. We got Hellbindi. Let's see if we can grab a Leorn here. Uh, I guess I can summon for more Hellbindi. Are there any other green units that I would give green dual infantry to? 
Or maybe I can just keep a hell bindi for the for the hell of it, right? We got a Seleph. Um, it's also infinitely harder to get red focus units than green focus units. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, oh jeez, what what green units would I really want to build? <laughs> this is really hard to decide. Uh, um, wow, because I, I am building a female robin. Is there any other green infantry unit that I would be building? Uh, you know what? We'll 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 go and pull for it. Let's just go for it. Mm. It's all right. We have you know, Merrick, Sorens, things like that that I could potentially inherit it. Oh well, actually, Camilla's not bad for Savage Blow. I'll take that. All right. Okay, so we're gonna back out. All right, so we're gonna go back in. Still, again, looking for Leorn. So one. Oh, this is a good. This is a good circle. So one. Uh, one dumb thing that I did uh, last time, because I, I did give Leorn to my Sheeta, so she has red dual flyers now. Um, I farmed her up to 5,000 HM, and then I forgot to claim the feathers before I farmed her off. So hopefully, we're not gonna make the same mistake again this time. All right, we got a. We got a three-star Elliewood. Elliew. Oh, okay, there we go. I was like, what What happened? Where's my confirm button? Gotta select a stone first. It has been a while since I summoned, so... <laughs> Please forgive me on that. Okay, we see the puff of smoke, and we are going to get a Hana. Four-star Hana, that's not bad. I am looking to maybe one day merge her up, but... Not really too sure about that right now. Alright, one red stone left, let's go. Hopefully this is not going to take like 500 something orbs like I did the last time I summoned for Leorn, which was ridiculous. Uh, so we see a puff of smoke and we're going to get another Celeph. We're getting too many Celephs. That's, that's, uh, was that like my second or second one, right? In this summon summoning session. And we're going to back out. And we're going to hop back in. Let's see what we get. Ooh, we got a green and two reds. Okay, we'll go with the reds first. Let's see what we get in this one. Oh man, this I haven't summoned in a while, and this is just giving me a rush. Giving a rush of adrenaline, this is exciting, and I get an Ares. Ooh, that's awesome. That's actually really good. Brazen attack defense, man. Um, if I get enough of him, I might consider plus tenning him, because he's really good for auto-battling a lot of things. Vantage and distant counter with his, uh, his weapon is insane. Uh, and we get another Hawkeye. Well... Hawkeye was a good symbol last time, right? I think the last time we got Hawkeye, we got a Hellbindi right afterwards. So let's see if we can get, let's see if we can get Leorn right here. Okay, Redstone, bottom left too. Bottom left is usually, there's a puff of smoke, usually been nice to me in the past. And we get a Krom. Oh, Ether Fodder is always good. Krom is not bad, I'll take that. I don't, I don't think I have too many of him. He is one of those units that I kind of like, and I would like to build. I have the resources for it, but it's just, uh, <laughs> there's no there's no real incentive for me to do so at this time. Okay, we're going to summon on the green stones here, and see if we can grab another Hellbindi, just to, like, you know, invest in for the future. I can always hold on to him and not use him uh, for now. There's a Frederick. Oh, that's actually really good. Wings of Mercy 2 with Luna. I'm in desperate need of Luna. He's, uh, <laughs> I only have one Frederick right now, so... And he's, uh, he's level 40, I've, I've trained him up, so I can kind of use him if he's needed for quests, so it's nice to have actual copy of him for fodder. Hey, we got a chicken, speaking of fodder. Faye given the renewal 3, that's always much, much appreciated, I'm low on that too. Because I haven't summoned in a while, you, you kind of run out of resources when you don't summon, right? Alright, so we're still stuck at just one Hellbindi, oh my god. Well, I guess we can go for... We can go for all of these, right? So, except the blue one. There's no reason to go for the blue. Alright, there's a puff of smoke on the red, and we're going to get... Atharja. Four-star Atharja. That's okay. Kind of merge it into the one I already have. I think the one I have is like plus seven? Alright, let's see what we get in these three green stones. Can we see another Hellbindi? That'd be kind of cool. Or, I mean, we can get pity broken by something, too. That's, that's a possibility on these banners, right? We get a Raven. Raven's not bad. I mean, he's one of the units who can inherit Green Duel Infantry and actually be pretty good with it. 
He has really high speed, really good for wind and water sweep and, you know, all those shenanigans. Alright, let's see what we get in this one. Uh, it's a three-star unit. Uh, that's a shame. We get an Arthur. Alright, Arthur. Okay, let's see. We're gonna redeem. We're down about 50, 60 orbs, so we're still within the average. We gotta help Indy, like, right off the bat, but yeah. Okay, there is a puff of smoke, and what are we gonna get here? We're gonna get a Sheena. Sheena's been kind of outclassed uh, in many regards because of green dual infantry, so it's kind of funny that I'm getting her here. I'm glad I didn't invest into any armor units. In fact, um, me hopping between tier 20 and tier 21, I don't use any armor units at all. So, the top ranks of arena are easily achievable even without, you know, min-maxing your team comp. Oh, we got an Erica. That's pretty cool. Although mine's already plus 10, so I don't really need this. But hey, she has home speed at 4 star. Alright, let's go. Another green stone, bottom left. What are we gonna get from this? There's a puff of smoke. Alright, that is a good sign. So we're going to get... Oh, another Sheena. More Sheenas. I guess I can merge... I have like a 4 star plus something Sheena. Alright. So, let's go ahead and see... Oh, there's only one redstone here. That's unfortunate. We'll see what it is, though. Alright, there's the puff of smoke, and... We get a stall. Ruby Swords and Swap, I think, right? Ruby Sword and Swap. He has Obstruct, I think, too. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go ahead... Uh, we're, getting, we're getting close to the 900 mark. Oh, there's three. Uh, I guess we'll go for the green one first. Why not? Alright, so, come on. Five-star unit. Anybody at this point, really. Uh, okay, maybe not anybody. I'll take that bag. Don't don't need this many Sheenas. I think I can now plus ten a four-star Sheena, which is pretty cool, but... Hmm. Alright, let's see what's in this one. Alright. Uh, puff of smoke. Awesome. Come on, at least give me some good fodder. I know Red has some good fodder in there. Hey, there we go. Athena with Moonbow and Wotal. That is always very, very nice. Okay, we're gonna go for this one here. It's a great time for me to just gather some fodder while I'm looking for, you know, the main skills for inheritance. The, uh, the infant dual skills, I, I should say. Not the infantry skills. We got a drog, three star drog, oh well. He has ward armor, but it's just I don't really use armors that much, so it's not the best thing to get. Alright, let's hop back in. I think we're... Ooh, can do another almost almost full circle, so I can roll on three of these. Which is not bad. But again, sniping sniping for a red focus unit is always harder than the other colors, because the red pool is so saturated. Hey, we got another Sheeta. Oh, that's nice. I can go ahead and check this out. Let's see. Go for the Sheeta. Four star. Come on, minus HP plus attack. Nope. Not at all. They're neutral. What is this? This is minus speed. Ew. Alright. Gonna go for this one. So yeah, actually, rolling on reds is not bad. I can potentially get good IVs on my Shido, which I really, really do want. Alright, we're going to get uh, another Eliwood. Alright, let's skip that. Let's go. Alright, one more over here. Let's see what this is. Come on, just looking for the Leorn. Just looking for Leorn. There's a buff of smoke. And what are we gonna get? Ah, it's an Ogma. And wait, he isn't he getting a rep weapon refinery uh, option as well? It's like Ogma, both Robins, Paula, Est, Catria. All pretty cool. There's somebody else too. I think Navar? I think Navar is also getting one. Alright, let's start with the red. Okay, let's see if we get a... Nope, no puff of smoke. Ugh, three-star unit. We got an adult Tiki. Got way too many of these on my friends list that are plus 10, so I haven't plus 10 one myself. It's been tempting, though. Alright, we're about to dip below 900 orbs, which is quite a shame, but that's alright. Uh, green orb is going to give me a three-star. 
<laughs> hey, Baruch is not bad. Uh, I do need Glimmer on some units. Actually, a good thing. Glimmer is actually not bad now. I'm still kind of surprised that, like, Baruch is like a green flying Lucas, so I'm surprised they didn't give her, like, Ignis or Bonfire as one of her specials. Instead, they give Glimmer to one of the lowest attack units in the game. We got a Bartre. Oh, we got a Bartre. Oh, that's awesome. I am actually looking to build a Bartre. There we go. Alright, we're definitely below the 900 orb mark now, which is unfortunate, but that's okay. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. There's green and red, so we'll roll on both of those. At least we're getting, like, you know, the colors. It's just we're not getting what we need from them. Got a Nino, looking, still looking for, like, a plus speed minus HP one. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this redstone right here before we back out again. Probably check my pity percent. It's probably pretty high at uh, by now. Although it doesn't really play too big of a. Oh, there we go. I got Leorn. All right. I think at this point I'm probably gonna stop. I meet. I met the uh, average. So I spent about a hundred orbs and I got two of the focus units. So there we go. We got Leorn. Let's go ahead and check out her IVs. Yeah, I would like to summon more. Uh, however, however. The problem is, oh my god, this is plus attack too. Plus attack minus percent. This is a perfect IV lay. Oh my god, what is going on, guys? Uh. <laughs> Intelligence Systems doesn't want me to fodder these. Well, well, we're not summoning more on this. We're going to wait for the Fae channel to come out tomorrow to see what's in store for us uh, later on in the game. I mean... Alright, well, I'll probably just hold on to these two units for now. Both of them are optimal IVs. Hellbindi, plus attack, minus speed. Leorn, plus attack, minus resistance. Uh, probably gonna keep them for now. There's no reason for me to fodder them just yet, because, you know, getting female Robin the uh, green dual infantry isn't gonna make too big of a difference for me just yet. I do need to see her weapon refine first, and I do need to build a team comp around her first. So, we're gonna have some fun with both these units before they maybe eventually meet their demise. But. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, subscribe for more Fire Emblem Heroes content, and leave a comment down below letting me know what I can do to improve. And until next time, take care.